Today I'm making rhubarb and strawberry crumble. To start, if your rhubarb has any of its leaves on, make sure to trim those off as these are unedible and give them a quick rinse. Cut the rhubarb to the size of one inch chunks and add them to a bowl. If you have any really thick ones, you can cut them in half lengthways. For the strawberries, get rid of any of the green stalks and cut them in half, leaving any of the small ones whole as we don't want them too small, creating a mush. Cover and toss the strawberries in a light dusting of flour. This is to prevent the strawberries from getting too mushy and will help thicken up the sauce slightly. Add them into your bowl, sprinkle over the soft brown sugar and use your hands to mix all of the ingredients together. Pour the rhubarb and strawberry into a big enough baking dish, filling about three quarters full and leave on the side while you make the crumble. Preheat your oven to 160 degrees fan. For other temperatures, they'll be listed here. If you already have your favourite go-to crumble top, feel free to use that, or for mine, add your butter and flour into a bowl, and using your fingertips, rub it together to form breadcrumbs. I then add the oats, followed by the caster sugar, and mix until it's all combined. Tip the crumble on top of the rhubarb and strawberry, and evenly spread it out. Pop it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until the top is a lovely golden brown colour and the juices are bubbling up around the sides. I like to serve my crumble with some custard. You can click here to watch how I make vanilla custard or you can watch my apple crumble recipe by clicking here. So that's rhubarb and strawberry crumble, easy. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave any requests in the comment box below.